one. Maybe you one little grabble apple, please. Not gonna happen, Bartleby. Grabble apple trees never give up their fruit until they start their winter nap. True's right, Bartleby. You can't rush a grabble apple tree. If you take the fruit before the tree drops it, the tree will be very upset. Aww. As upset as my I'm not eating grabble apples yet face. Even more so. I'm not sure you fully saw how sad my face was. Let me try that again. <laughs> it's worth the wait. If you take the fruit off too early, it'll taste sour. Then you'll make your sour face. Yeah. How will I show off my new scarf in this heat? Will no one think of the scarves? <laughs> Farmer Mosser, what happens if the trees don't drop their fruit and go to sleep? Oh, dearie me. If the trees don't have their winter nap, they'll be grumpy all next summer. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, what does that mean? Break it down for me in terms of grabble apples. Not only will their fruit be sour this year, it'll be sour next year and the year after that. Don't say in the year after that, too! Not the year after that! Then we have to help them have their winter nap. Maybe we can figure out a way to soothe the trees. Then they'll feel better and go to sleep. It's possible. Well, hi there, True and Bartleby. Hi, Farmer Mosser. We're having a Nibbles and Sips party for the Rainbow King today, and we were wondering if we could have some... Fresh squeezed Zazuni juice. Wow. How did you know? That's why everyone comes to Zazuni Moss Island. It's like he can read minds. I am very impressed by this farmer. <laughs> The zingy goodness of Zazuni juice comes from the Zazuni moss we grow right here in our fields. Ah, oh, this is so... Whoa! Soft Zazuni moss. So cozy. So very softy soft. Can Zazuni moss grow anywhere, Farmer Mosser? We can only grow it on this island because it grows so fast. Watch. That is fast. Now I'll show you how this mask gets juiced. Bartleby, <laughs> come on, you silly sleepyhead. Huh? What? Oh, I'm right! There's a good tray. Easy now, easy. Give the fruit to the nice farm hand. Come on now. Oh, no. The trees have become so cranky, we'll never get them to sleep now. But then we won't get our sweet, sweet grabble apples. <laughs> hey! Unbranch those farm hands! Whoa! 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 Island! Look at that! The numbleberries, they're gone. I just came back from Berry Island, and our whole crop just poof, disappeared. The whole crop? Well, almost all of it. There's one more basket left. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, not again. No! They really are all gone. What are the Yetis going to eat now? They're going to eat numbleberry pies. Because we're detectives, and we're going to find them. <laughs> Higher! Oh. oh, no! Shady's stuck! He opened too soon. He has to be higher than the trees to give them shade. How will we get him out of there? We could climb up the trees if they weren't so flaily. Excuse me, Grabble Apple Tree. Would you let us climb up you? <laughs> it's no use, True. They're too upset to listen to you. But they might listen to a lullaby. Time for my second wish. a lullaby to help those cranky trees get to sleep. Do you think you can do that? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Bee, throw your shade. Hey, Mr. and or Ms. Tree, can you give me a boost up high so I can help unstick Shady? Shady, 
Can you collapse for a minute, please? Wow. Spread your wings, Shady. Good job, B. Look, it's working. They're asleep. Do you think it's safe to pick them now? I wouldn't try it. No, no, no. No one do anything loud. We can't not make noise forever. Not forever, just until the season changes. And for that, it looks like we need to find Glummy. Find Glummy? Good idea! Shh! Also, a good idea would be for you to come with me. Um, agreed. And here we have our Zazuni juicer. Wow, that juicer is humongous! The Zazuni mass is scooped up, and then dropped into the juicer. It squishes and stretches the mass, and then twists it to squeeze all the juice out. Amazing. Is it Zazuni juice yet? Almost. Almost. And there it is. Freshly squeezed Zazuni juice. Enjoy. <sighs> Perfect. Take as many as you like for your nibble and uh, uh, sip a thing. Wow! Thanks, Thanks Farmer Master. Anytime. Bye bye now. Oh, true. I, I need your help in the Happy Farming Valley. Sure thing, Farmer Master. I'm on my way. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bartleby! <laughs> Hi, Farmer Mosser. What's wrong? I know it's not too much sunshine. <laughs> Plants love sunshine! They sure do. All this sun was wonderful at first. My berry crop grew bigger and juicier than ever. Oh, giant berry. Where have you been all my life? But now, there's too much sun. My berries dry out just like that. <laughs> all that plump, delicious juiciness. Gone. Okay, maybe this half day, half night thing isn't working out. <sighs> this just doesn't feel like Grabble Apple Fest. Shh. It feels like shh fest. Maybe now that the trees have been sleeping for a while, it might be safe to pick the fruit. Well. <laughs> Don't cry, Shady. You're doing your best in a hard situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, Farmer Mosser. We tried to help the trees, but even the wishes can't do it without Glummy. Then it really is hopeless. Oh, I've had crops that were too dry, too wet, too weedy, but I've never had one that was too cranky. Oh. Oh no, the grabble, abble, apple trees just mope and pout. Cause the sun's so sunny, yummy, and it's too bright out. The rain Blue begonias! I've never heard Farmer Moss are so low. He's about as low as you go. And I'm a limbo champion. I got that long face sour gravel apple blues. If Gummy could only hear this song, he'd be very happy indeed. Or sad. Maybe that's how we can get Glummy to come back to the orchard. We can use Ping Ping to let Glummy hear Farmer Mosser singing. Then he'll want to hear more and come back to the orchard. Time for my third wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Ping Ping. Wish come true. Uh oh, don't they have to separate to work? Remember what Z said? 
They get nervous when they're apart. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be back together in no time. You just have to split up for a little bit to help us with Grabble Apple Fest. Sounds good? Uh-huh. Oh, no, the Grabble Apple Apple tree is just mope and pout. Because the sun's so sunny, yummy, and it's too bright out. Come on, Bee. Let's go. Oh, Cumulo! That the Grabble Apple Apple trees won't shut their eyes. We see the problem now, True. Too much night is too much for anybody. And too much day isn't good either. It's time to make things right. Ready? Ready. The day is bright. The night is calm. Sun, moon, to where you belong. Another beautiful sunset. Thank you, queens. Daytime is a great time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. We run and skip and jump and play. It's a fun adventure time of day. <laughs> Nighttime is a great time. A soft, cool breeze, the moon in the glow. Get comfy, get back, it's quiet time. We wind things down and clear our minds. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing and calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is a great time. Is a great time. The blue sky, the night stars, the sun, the moon. They're both the best time. I like us both being the best. Me too. It's working, Bee. Glummy is following the music. That was terrible. Sing it again. True. You brought Glummy back. Does this mean the season will change? <laughs> sad faces, sad music, sour apples. Why would I want to change anything that's so perfectly gloomy? Because it's not perfect for everyone else. The kingdom needs you to bring the autumn weather. Are you going to keep bothering me until I bring back the clouds? Tell him yes, tell him yes! No, Glummy. It's totally up to you. But changing the seasons would make everyone happy. I only brought the autumn clouds because I like them. I've never done anything just for someone else. That would be a pretty big change for sure. And we know you don't like change. But maybe you'll find out you like doing something new. Like when you tried the sour gravel apple. Oh, well, that did turn out all right. Eh, I suppose it is too bright. Here, too. You to keep warm. It's okay. You keep it. Thanks for your help, Shady, Hushabai, and Ping Ping. Now back in the pack. Gummy's clouds are making the trees sleepy. Long live the glue! Sorry. Long live the glue. Let's give them the nudge test. Um. They've started winter nap. So then why are we still whispering? You're right. Nothing can wake them till spring. Oh, yes, the tree. The scarf isn't really my style. Too jazzy. But thank you. 